Hey honeys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Real J Wills. If you didn't know, now you know. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're a returning honey, what's good? fitness, fashion, and motivation to help you become the best version of yourself. Now, who wouldn't want to do that? I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to get thick and keep the waist snatched. I get so many DMs and messages all the time asking me, how do I gain weight? Like, I know on my channel, I mainly talk about how to lose weight. That's all I talk about. That's all I've ever talked about is how to lose weight, how to be snatched, but I know there's people who are watching me and y'all y'all are a little smaller. Y'all starting off skinny and you want to get thick. So I got five tips for you guys as to how you can get gain weight, but keep the waist snatched. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you love your girl. And let's get into this. So the first tip that I have for you guys is eating, eating clean, like whether you're trying to gain weight or lose weight, you really need to eat clean just because your body is going to have better results depending on what you put in it. You know how they say you are what you eat? That is such a true statement. You are literally what you put into your body. So if you put bad stuff into your body, you're going to look bad. That's why when you eat like bad stuff, you get acne, you feel tired and fatigued and you're bloated and all that. So eat clean. Now, as far as your diet, when you're trying to gain weight, I recommend you do like high protein, low fat, because you're trying to gain weight. So the next tip that I have for you guys is to incorporate more monosaturated fats into your diet. And an example of a monosaturated fat is like avocados. Oh my gosh. I love avocados, y'all. They so good. So make sure you get some avocados. You can do like different kinds of nuts, um, peanut butter. Like those are some examples of good monosaturated fats. But you can look up and see what more that you can incorporate into your diet. But that's going to help you pick up some weight. But it's going to help you pick up good weight, you guys. I know some people think, well, if I just eat a bunch of food, I'm going to gain weight. You will gain weight, but you're going to gain weight in areas that you don't want to gain weight, which is nine times out of 10, it's going to be your stomach. Like, have you ever seen somebody that's skinny, but they just, for some reason, got that, that pudge going on? I'm giving you guys tips where you won't have that. So if you incorporate these tips that I got for y'all, you're not going to have that. You're not going to have that. So next tip. The next tip that I have for you guys is to drink lots and lots and lots of water. Water is going to decrease bloating. It's going to keep your body balanced. It's going to keep your skin glowing. It's not going to make you just drop any weight, but it's going to keep your body feeling and looking good. It is going to keep you from being bloated for sure. Now, if you feel like, oh, I want some juice or I need something to drink, go get you some fruit. Like, make sure that you keep your fridge stocked with fruit because that's our juice. That's nature's juice to us. Eat your apple, get your orange, some grapes, watermelon. Like, if you're a watermelon lover, I highly recommend watermelon. Like, my mom, she loves watermelon and she be eating it all the time. And she always says, like, how hydrating it is. So, if you feel like I want something to drink, go get your watermelon. And I'm telling you, it's going to quench your thirst. Okay, the next tip that I have for you guys is to exercise. Like, I know y'all probably don't want to exercise, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry you have to exercise. Like, exercise is definitely going to give you better results. Um, exercise is not only just for losing weight or anything like that. Don't look at it like that. Look at working out as this is going to better me. This is going to make me feel better. It's deeper than working out. It's deeper than exercise. So look at it as it's going to make me better. It's going to enhance me as a person it's gonna make me feel good it's good all around it's good all around so get that workout on as far as the type of workouts that you do strength training weights like 
you know, weights. Make sure that you focus on lifting weights and strength training and toning your body. Do not focus on any cardio. Cardio is going to make you lose weight. So don't do any cardio. Keep it at a minimum at what kind of cardio or how much cardio you're doing. But do strength training, butt exercises, leg exercises, ab workouts. I'll have... um some videos in the eye above of some different workout routines that you guys can do, especially some ab routines to get you snatched up. But yeah, make sure that you incorporate your strength training because that is going to put more meat onto you, but it's going to be more toned up. And when you do the strength training, that allows you to kind of shape the meat. Now, if you just go on a binge and you're just eating everything in eyesight, you're just packing on the fat, but you're not toning it up. You feel me? You feel me? The next tip that I have for you guys is to sleep. Rest. Make sure that you're getting enough rest. I know people really do not value their sleep at all. In this society, yeah, in this society, we just do not value sleep at all but it is so important to get sleep because it balances your body if your balance if your body is not balanced you can't do anything like you can't gain no weight you can't lose no weight there's no way to kind of control it because your body is off balance so make sure that you're getting it at least about seven to eight hours of sleep a night i know some of y'all are looking at this like that is not even possible there's no way i can do that but just try to incorporate more rest and more sleep into your routine because that's going to allow you to reach your goals and get so the last thing that i have for you guys the last tip that i have for you guys is to waste train y'all know knew i was gonna say that because y'all know i'm a waist train advocate or whatever like you know i'm in the business of snatching the girls up or whatever so yeah make sure you waist train like that is important to get in the waist that you want y'all i'm telling y'all me i always felt like my waist is too wide like i feel like my waist was the same width as my hips and every girl, I, every girl in this world wants that hourglass figure. So that's why I was like, you know what? I need to start wearing a waist trainer because that's going to give me that curve right there. So I got y'all covered. Chip me out, chip me out, chip me out. Mm, 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 I'm just playing. I play too much. But yeah, so this is um a wasted by RJW Waist Trainer. DM me on Instagram at underscore real J Wells or at wasted by RJW on Instagram to purchase one of these waist trainers. Um this I wear a size small. I go from size small all the way up to a 4X. So Anybody can purchase a waist trainer. This is definitely good for you and trying to snatch you up. I wear mine. I wear mine a long time. Like as long as I can wear it. Sometimes I have to go places and I can't wear my waist trainer. But as long as I can keep this thing on, I leave it on because I want my waist to be snatched. And that's what I recommend for you guys. Get you a waist trainer and wear it while you work out, after you work out, and when you go to work. You know, the more you leave it on, the better the results will be. For sure, for sure. All right, y'all. So that was the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I, I know, I know that y'all are going to incorporate these tips into your life. And let me know. For some of my slim, all my slim girls out there that's watching this video, like, yes, I'm trying to get thick, girl. I'm trying to get thick. Comment down below and let me know if you incorporate these things into your workout routine. And when you try them and you got a bigger booty, make sure that you send me pictures and everything. Like, let me know. Let me know. So let me know how things go. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all.